This is where we meet. Brought together by sport and culture. United by our fearless desire to risk it all. We share a bond. A bond of our passion. Persistence. and innovation. Pushing ourselves, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Evolving, driving towards a singular moment that inspires us to chase the impossible, to become possible. We're the ones that step up to the edge and disregard it. We live for this. Oh my God! We're not here for the accolades. Not for the fame. Not for you. And not for anyone else. We're here because of that unexplainable feeling we share in our blood, our bones, and our hearts. That bond, that, is what brings us together for this moment. The X Games. Welcome everyone to Southern California. We are in the city of Vista here at the California Training Facility for X Games 2022. We just saw some magical moments over the last two plus decades right there. And we hope to make more magic tonight here as we get set to kick off Dave Mira, BMX Park Best Trick. Hello everyone, welcome inside the booth. My name is Jimmy Coleman, that's Chris Doyle. We've got Victoria Arlen out in the field. And well, Chris, when you're talking about Dave Mira Park best trick, it's been contested five times. We've only had three different winners, but the guy who's come out on top the last two years in a row, it's Mike Varga. Yeah, Mike Varga, the Canadian. He would love to go and do the three-peat, get it three years in a row. Did the 1260 last year. I can't believe that's actually a real thing that got done. Showing you right there how it's done. Mike Varga is here and he wants to make it a three-peat in BMX Park best trick. Well, we first started doing this event in 2016. It was Kyle Baldock that won the first two years, then Alex Haim, and as we mentioned, Mike Varga did a 900 tail whip in 2019, and then that 1260 last year. Can he make more magic happen here tonight and make it three in a row? We are going to find out as this competition unfolds. But. Uh, Talk about some of your other favorites here in the list, Chris. Well, you have to keep an eye on Ryan Williams. He was our Mega Park gold medalist. Showed us the front flip kickless in which you do a tail up the tail up back without touching the bike. A trick that he brought over from the scooter world into the BMX world and did an NBD and got that gold medal in BMX Mega Park. He's back here for Dave Mira, BMX Park best trick. And I know he's got something up his sleeve. The little birdies have been chirping and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he brings to the table. Yeah, a lot of these guys have been extremely tight lipped about what they're going to do here. And it is going to be one to watch for sure. Like I said, it's only been contested five times prior. We've had three different winners and uh, this is one of my favorites this one's always a bit of a nail biter because you just never know what you're gonna see no and it's always just rapid fire action just things happening all over the course these these riders can do they can anything on the course is, is up for grabs they can do a quarter pipe trick they could do a box jump trick they could do a spine trick it's really up to them and what they want to do and how they want to execute their best trick. All right, so we started off with Justin Dowell out of Virginia Beach. Now, he's already had a pretty big day out here. He walked out with a silver medal earlier today in BMX Park, and he gets us started here at Dave Mira BMX Park Best Trick. <laughs> and that's how you set things off right there. That's a 360 Twix. Now, a Twix is when you do a tail whip and a bar spin at the exact same time. You completely dismount. Check him out right here. 360 throwing the bars with the tail. I gotta say, Jimmy, he made that look a little bit too easy for how complex of a trick that is. Just right out of the gate right there. So it is a jam session here. It is 20 minutes on the clock. They will run in the start order that we showed you at the top of the show here as we bring in Rim Nakamura here from Kyoto, Japan. 
check rim out, going for that wall ride feature. Looks like he wants something up there. He's a guy that likes to blast, likes to go big, but he does have a lot of difficult tricks. I was going to say, the way he was looking at that, he was sizing up something to come out of that wall ride, maybe just sussing it out here this first attempt. Just up in the rafters there, Jimmy. You know he wants something either in or out or both of that wall ride. I say, you're running out of real estate there, sir. The rafters are very, very close, but we'll have to see more of him in round number two as we welcome in Logan Martin, who got a bronze in dirt this week, as well as a gold medal earlier today in Park. Now, that was a completely opposite flare tail whip. It's going to be interesting to see this in the slow-mo. Check him out. Turning his opposite direction, kept kicking an opposite tail whip, locking with the pedals, just kind of steps off a little bit, keeping that foot elevated off the concrete, not letting it touch the ground. So we're not going to see any rankings. We're not going to know who's in what order. It's a big reveal at the end of the event. Coming up on the 18 mark here, we bring in Lake Havasu's Jeremy Malott. He got a bronze in this event last year at Pat Casey's Dream Yard. So I'm trying some things in practice here. Check him out. Three, oh, sorry. Backflip 180, trying to revert it around. Be interesting to see where he wants to go with that. Kind of just a flyout trick right here. There's that backflip 180. It's not a flare because he's not going back into the quarter pipe. Landing on the deck, rolling it out. Definitely wants something out of that. But lots of time left on the clock here, so might get three, maybe four chances. We will have to see. This is Daniel Sandoval on course for his first attempt. There's that double backflip flare. Again, he couldn't get it in his park run. And I saw him do it in practice. I saw him do it on social media recently. So I know that he can do it. It's just a matter of putting it down. Yeah, slid, on that, slid out on that a couple of times in the park competition earlier today. And sometimes that's just one of those things. You just got to get out there. You just want to put it down and shake it off. So we'll have to look to him for round number two. Your X Games 2021 BMX Park gold medalist on course right now, Kevin Peraza. And there's oh, that huge no. flare transfer. <laughs> Did you see him look back after that one? How much distance? I didn't see this again on the replay. That is such a massive gap right there. Yeah, and it's like I said for the park competition, I don't consider Kevin Peraza a big flare type of guy, but he covered a lot of ground here. That's a pocket transfer just going into that vert quarter. Perfect, smooth as you like. And almost running out of room because he landed on the far side of that extension there. That was massive there. Wow, there is Kevin Peraza putting down a big one here in the opening round. Ryan Williams. All right, check him out right here. I saw him trying some things in practice. Not sure what he's going to do here, but check him out. He's going to come in fakey to that big quarter. <laughs> Coming up fakie, 360 front flip, landing straight back down that transition. That's something I've never seen before personally. Well, that's such a hard one too because the way that you pull off of the transition to try to give yourself enough time to rotate that one around, you're getting the last bit of the transition and you're basically landing at the bottom right there. Bringing your defending gold medalist the last two years in a row in this event is Mike Varga. Oh. <laughs> The 900 bar spin, catch bar spin. Wow, that was really cool. And you know, Varga could have ridden the park competition, but he chose to pull out and not compete because he wanted to focus on best trick. Yeah, he was solely focused on this one coming in and wanting to get the three-peat here. Coming up on the 15-minute mark, we go back up to the top and bring in just Dow. Justin Dow, three bar spins in that 540. Catching each bar spin individually in between. Check him out. Here we go. One, two, and a third bar spin for good measure in that 540. Now, I think that the 360 Twix was really what he wanted to do for best trick. He got that done first, first hit, and uh, now I think he's just going to have some fun. I was talking to him earlier, and he said he didn't really come into this with any sort of plan, so he's just kind of winging it and firing off the cuff right now. And here comes Rim at Nakamura again, pedaling with a great clip of speed at that wall ride. <laughs> Huge on that wall ride, bar spin, catch, bar spin. Now, I've seen him do three, I've seen him do four, where he catches each one individually. Check him out. Huge, way up in the rafters. One and two. And he's just kind of, yeah, whatever, okay, I think I got a little bit more. 
going to be fun to see what he does on the next hit. So again, we don't get scores. There's not any rankings here. It's just a big reveal at the end of the event here. Logan Martin here for attempt number two. Just cleaning that one up. We saw him miss his feet a little bit on that first attempt. That's completely opposite. He's doing everything in his opposite direction. The flare is opposite. The tail whip is opposite. And he just stomps that. So again, jam session here in the Dave Mira BMX Park. Best trick final. We are under the 15 minute mark. So we welcome back in Jeremy Malab. Yeah, it looks like he's got a little bit of a deck trick that he wants to do for his best trick. There's that backflip, 180, rolling it around. How's he going to end it? A flare in! Are you kidding me? I did not see that coming, Jimmy. And again, with such a small transition, you've got to muscle that one all the way around. You're basically, you're sending that to flat at that point. I mean, that is just sheer power. That's like a full-on bunny hop backflip into a transition like that. That is, that is crazy. It's going to be interesting to see if he can get that done in the next round. Completely different approach to what we saw to him last year. Here comes Daniel Sandoval for attempt number two. Getting lots of speed going here. There's there that is. double backflip flare. That one eluded him a couple of times earlier today in the park competition. He makes it happen here in round number two. Stomping it this time went a little bit fast. It just looked like he needed a little bit more speed to get those two rotations around. Stomped it. Actually made it look pretty easy that time. Can take another look at this from the opposite angle here. Beautiful double backflip flare. Stomps it out onto that wedge feature. Let's his colleagues know he is st stoked on that one right now. Doing it for Jordan today. Making it pretty tough for the judges over there in the booth. As we bring back in it, Kevin Peraza here. <laughs> that 360 nose press, that's so consistent for Peraza, but you know that's not what he wanted to do. That's not what he wants to do for best trick. He's going to come back in that third round. Long day for these guys. They're out here early practicing this morning. They had the park event earlier today, just out there having some fun. What is Ryan, is, I think Ryan Williams goes for another attempt at what we saw in round one here? I think so. I, I think he's gonna come back in fakey on that big quarter, and try that front flip 360. It appears that way, here we go. Can he make this one happen this time around? Oh, so close. <laughs> he didn't take his feet off. That's good, but uh, just sliding it off. Sliding it out right there, unfortunate for him. Speed. So you hear, you hear what he's saying, he needs a little bit more speed, maybe go up a little bit higher on that transition. Heck, I don't know, I've never done one before, so what Just would I know? Not, I mean, you don't have a lot of room to make that rotation come all the way around. We've got Mike Varga coming up next, but first let's check in with Victoria Arlen. Guys, Mike Varga is looking to make history, winning three in a row in this event in particular. We all remember last year where he won with the 1260. And look, these guys are bringing new tricks, and who knows what he can do. He actually, like you guys mentioned, declined the park invite to focus on this event, so we'll see what he can do. All right, he's in for his second attempt here. <laughs> Going for that 900 bar spin, catch bar spin once again. Well, it was a 900 combo that got him the win in 2019. It was a 900 tail whip the last year. We were at X Games Minneapolis and contested this event. So close. Yeah. Right here. And indeed, that was very close. Just came out the back. You heard those brakes locking up. Probably had a handful of brake lever. All right, Justin Dowell back in. We go back up to the top of the order here for round at number three. <laughs> Same Look how easy that looked. That was the same trick he just did in the, in the second round. Looks like he maybe wants one more bar spin in there. He's just the calm, cool, casual customer right there, just kind of shaking his head like, yeah. All right, Rim Nakamura. We'll see if he goes after this layback bank wall off that wall ride again. And he is going to do it one more time. Do we get another combo? Ah. If I'm to guess, I'm going to guess that Rim probably wanted to do three bar spins out of that wall ride. He certainly has the height. It's just sometimes you get a little jumbled up there and uh, can't let go of those bars. But 
Awesome to have Rim out here. Mr. Logan Martin dropping back in. <laughs> Doing the flare. Same one that uh, Kevin Peraza did earlier. I think Peraza li landed a little bit higher, but, and you know, maybe uh, Logan wants to throw something in there. Maybe just feeling it out this round. Landing a little bit low. Uncharacteristic to see him ever miss a transition. X Games SoCal continues tomorrow, 1 Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on ABC and the ESPN app. It's the last day of competition for the world's best action sports athletes, highlighted by the finals of BMX Dirt, Real Street Best Trick, Women's Skateboard Street, the Moto X 110s, Pacifico Skateboard Vert Best Trick, BMX Mega Park, and Men's Skateboard Park. Jeremy Malott is back on course, chasing this, this line right here. Rolling it out. Check him out right here, Jimmy. Oh! Did, he, did his feet stay on the pad? I don't think he ever touched. Well, I don't know. I'm not a judge. I don't know if I would count that as being fully pulled, but it's certainly impressive. 180 backflip, rolling it around that free coaster, and then just flipping back in. And oh, yeah, that left foot dabbed. I mean, to have to muscle that around, I mean, it's like a four foot transition right there. And you're just taking that around to flat. So we're coming up on 11 minutes and counting down here in this jam session. We welcome back in Daniel Sandoval. Oh, <laughs> Gonna need a slow-mo on that one. That was huge. Oh my goodness. The flare with the double tail. Just made it look kind of easy to check him out. One and two, just catching it nice and early. And look at how high he was when he did that. That's about an eight foot pocket corner over there. That was so big, Jimmy. And you know what? I think he even has more than that. Well, now that he's got that double flare out of his mind. He's put that one down, because as we said before, that one was giving him trouble there in the park competition. So, I mean, He's got all sorts of tricks in his arsenal, so it'll be interesting to see what he does in this last 11 minutes as we take another look at Kevin Peraza. There's a big back to oh, 180 oh, oh, oh. over the box jump. Are you kidding me? How did he hang on to that and bring that one around with where he landed? Wow. Wow. I think even he was surprised to get out of that fakie so well. Check him out. Huge backflip, pulling it around 180. Some You could say that's a, a flare, but no, that's a, a backflip 180, landing backwards. Insane, just caught enough transition to be able to roll out of it. See how much that back tire that's compressed. Brother, Casey. Love you, bro. Wow, okay. Giving a shout out to Pat Casey right there. We missed Pat in the park contest earlier today after getting injured riding Moto X110s earlier in the week, so wishing Pat a speedy recovery. Come on. You hear Ryan Williams around saying, come on, third time's a charm. Now it says on his glove, third time's a charm. Let's see if that holds some truth here. A little bit more speed. Oh, and he pulls <laughs> it off, Jimmy. <laughs> he just slid that one around. Yeah! <laughs> Pat, Pat Casey, that was for you, Pat Casey. Pat Casey, what the hell? Third time's a charm, baby! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm, uh, <laughs> check him out. Showing that front flip 360, pulling it around, lands low, but he pulls it, does not touch the ground. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how the judges score that. He just said, I just learned that today. I was like, oh, okay, now I can try something else. So we're just under 10 minutes left to go here. Oh, oh man. He got out of that one pretty unscathed. That looked nasty. Yeah, just just got the, the bike started to fall out from under him as he was throwing those handlebars, going for that 900 bar spin, catch bar spin. You have to get that front wheel line there, knock that back into place. Well, that's how we do it.
just knock it against the, the ramp there, just give it a kick, line it back up. We've still got time left on the clock here, so plenty more still to come. We'll have the conclusion of Dave Mira BMX Park Best Trick Final when we come back to X Games 2022. X Games is brought to you by Pacifico. Live life anchors up. Drink responsibly. A lot of us growing up, we were outsiders from regular sports, so we were bullied. We were, you know, made fun of for doing different things. So for us to be where we're at now and to promote kindness and, and share awareness with bullying, you know, it's, it's super important. And, uh, and if I can share that knowledge to the kids nowadays of just remembering where you came from and how far you've gotten despite these comments, use that as fuel. And instead of, you know, fueling their fire of negativity, just show them with actions. Kill them with kindness, bury them with a smile. It's, it's, it's incredible. And I think this, this shirt has a lot to say, you know. <laughs> Keep going, don't let those walls or barriers or negativity or comments put you down. At the end of the day, do what makes you happy and, and everything's gonna flow smoothly in life, so just keep going. Well, I can't think of a better ambassador for Shred Hate than Kevin Peraza. Shred Hate Choose Kindness is a bullying prevention program created by ESPN and X Games. We're teaming up with organizations across the country who are helping kids, families, and communities stand up for others, respect one another, and choose kindness. For more info, check out Disney.com slash Choose Kindness. And as Kevin Peraza said, bury him with a smile. I think that's the best tagline. They should add that to all the Shred Hate promos, Chris. I like it, Jimmy. I like it a lot. Taking a look at Dusty Hendrickson right there, a two-time X Games snowboard gold medalist. Got one in a slip style and knuckle hug there, so he's hanging out in the friends and family staging area. Checking out the action here at the Dave Mira BMX Park Best Trick Final. We've got some time left on the clock here in this jam session. You're taking a look at Justin Dowell here, your silver medalist in BMX Park. Earlier today, starting us off here for round number four. Yeah, and let's not forget, Dow did that 360 twix earlier. Look at that four oh. bar spins in a 540. Did you see how perfectly he brought that last bar spin around right as the wheels touched down? That was insane. Yeah, Dow was having a great day today. Looked super good in our park competition. Check him out, 540. With four <laughs> bar spins, count it. And as, Stoked right there. As I said earlier, he said he came into this and he didn't really have a plan. He's just operating on the fly here. Yeah, I think the 360 Twix was his hard trick, and he got that done first hit. So, hey, why not try some other things? Okay, so here we go with Rim at Nakamura again, who's just been blasting into this wall right here off the layback bank wall and wants a combo out of that, but it just hasn't worked out so far, Chris. Yeah, you know, you take a chance when you go that high up on the wall. He's wanting something out, just can't get his body position right on the bike to maybe let the bars go a little bit. Logan Martin, your park gold medalist from earlier today. This guy is just a trick machine. Sending that triple, a, a trick that he did in our park competition. So hey, if it's gonna get him gold in park, maybe it'll get him gold here in our Dave Mira best trick competition. Check him out. Just letting the back end of that bike fly around, triple tail whip, nice and clean. I love how he like kind of preloads it. Another look right here, just all the way through that pocket corner there and into that extension. So we're coming up on eight minutes and counting down here. Jeremy Malott back into the mix here. X Games 2022, his third appearance. We mentioned in round one. He got a bronze medal in this event last year when we were at Pat Casey's backyard. Well, he's definitely chasing this, this link right here. It's the big backflip, 180, pulling it around, using that free coaster, and just popping that backflip. And he is frustrated right now, just landing a little bit low on that transition, letting the feet come off a little bit. I mean, you're so limited because you have, it's, it's about a four-foot transition right there, and just the impact, it's hard to keep your feet on the pedals right there. And it's that left foot that just slipped off again. Okay, now we saw Sandoval do the flare double tail whip. 
On my social media feeds, I've seen him do a little bit more. Let's see if he's going to go for it and just let the back end of that bike fly around a little bit more. Or go for something totally different. Looking like he was going to go for the Decade 360 there. Or maybe the Double Decade, which is a trick that he can do. See him shaking his head right there as he rides off. The big smile on his face. Kevin Peraza stepped it up a notch that last go around. Threw one down over that box jump feature in the center of the course. Check him out. Oh! <laughs> A backflip 180 with a tail whip over the coping to coping spine. Unreal to just nail that on his first attempt. Even he can't believe it. He's like, what just happened? <laughs> this is so huge. Backflip 180 with the tail whip. Catching it nice and early and pulling it right around. I remember back in the day when Dennis McCoy was doing backflip 180s over spines. Who would have thought we would have ever gotten to this point? Peraza throwing the tail up in there. I'd love to see it. So he's had two big heaters in a row here. Again, you don't see any rankings. You don't see any scores when this event is over, when the time runs out on the clock and everybody finishes out the run order here. It is just a big reveal at the end to find out who's walking out of here with the gold pedal as we get set to take another look at Ryan Williams here as we are at the five and a half minute mark. Well, we've already seen him do an NBD and BMX Mega Park. Let's see if he's got more and best trick. Oh! <laughs> Trying to go against the grain and against the laws of physics, come up backwards and do a backflip <laughs> on that quarter pipe. Unbelievable. Previously, we saw him do Fakey up to front flip 360, a trick that he just learned on the fly. So Mike Varga, we've been told that he actually bent his frame after crashing on that last attempt here. Oh! And still going for it. Yeah, chasing that 900 bar spin, catch bar spin. And when your frame is off like that, it can sometimes cause your brakes to rub. It can just throw your whole bike out of whack. So I know what he's going through, and that's not fun. So we're down to the final four and a half minutes here. So we're back up to the top of the order here. Justin Dowell's been on a tear this entire competition. Yeah, he's done two tricks that I've certainly never seen anybody do. A 540 with four bar spins thrown in and the 360 Twix. Yeah, he started it off with the 360 Twix. It's right out of the gate, first guy to go. That's how he started this competition off. Yeah, and he's the only one in the competition doing the Twix. And then he puts it in a 360. So <laughs> uh, it was easy to forget because he was the first guy to drop and we've seen so much, but that was a big move. Going up double peg grind, pulling a hard way out, one hitty bar spin. Just uh, maybe Looking like he didn't want to risk his health and uh, taking a little bit easy on his on his last hit there. So now we're at three and a half minutes. We'll see if we get through the run order here, possibly get another round of runs here. So Rim Nakamura again eyeing up that layback bank wall and that wall ride with a great clip of speed here. Ah. Well, we know that Rim has the hot bars. Likes to do a lot of bar spin catch, bar spin type of tricks. So you know he wants Maybe the <laughs> three bar spins out of that, maybe four like we saw him do in park. Not yeah. sure that he's just not coming off that wall. His, his body position's a little bit off. Well, you could see the frustration on his face as he made his way back onto the deck right there. So he definitely wants more. Logan Martin got more earlier today, added another park gold medal to his X Games hardware collection. <laughs> There's that bike flip that we saw him do in our dirt competition. Him and Jay Tui have that so on lock, just so completely dialed in. By the way, he got a bronze in BMX dirt the other day. So two medals on the week thus far for him. Check him out, just pitching that bike forward, fully dismounting, catching back up to it and stomping it out. Decked it a little bit, but say, did you see where that back tire was when it came around? 
And he doesn't run any breaks too, so you, you can't have that safety net of just being able to lock up the breaks when things are going wrong. Stomping that forward bike flip. Sometimes it looks like it's hard for Logan to mess up. He's always precision, always dialed. And that's why he's got a, a couple gold medals. Just a few. Jeremy, just a few. <laughs> Jeremy Malat in for attempt number five here. Just it keeps slipping a pedal. Is this going to be the one, Chris Doyle? He's chasing it hard here. Using that free coaster. Pulling it around. Oh, and, and he gets on. it. Stays on. <laughs> He stomps it clean that time. He lands a little bit low, but the feet don't come off. The feet don't touch the ground. Just kind of shuffled the feet a little bit off the pedals. He was on the crank arm there and saved that one. He rides away. Going huge 180 backflip, rolling it back around. Pulling it around, backflip in. Like I said, he lands low. It's gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see how the judges judge this because it's not just one trick, it's a series of tricks that all have to come together as one. So it's gonna be yes, interesting to go. see how What's the up, judges dude, place Mr. Jeremy Malott. All right, so we're under a minute counting down here. So this looks like this could possibly take us out. This could be the last round we will have to see. But Daniel Sandoval, had a little bit of a rough start there, and he's been on a run ever since. After he put down that double flare, he's just kind of letting it fly. Yeah, and you see him up there with the body language, kind of twisting around, getting his mind right. This is going to be fun. Here we go. Oh! Man, it, he actually hit the rafters. The building is not big enough for Daniel Sandoval. Wow, yeah, that was a hard stopper right there. We've done BMX events in this building before, and I've seen people come very close, but that's the first time I've ever seen anyone in this building get hung up in the rafters with their bike. Boy, talk about some air awareness and being able to find the ground after that and just kind of slide to safety. <laughs> wow. I mean, the awareness to get back, I mean, that's a layback bank wall right there to Throw yourself out to get to that to slide down and keep the bike away from you. That was a heck of a save by Daniel Sandoval. Here we go. And then didn't get it. Wow. <laughs> Way to get out of that, Mr. Sandoval. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to put a bigger roof on this place for 2023. Now, what more? can Peraza do? He's done so much already. Okay, yeah, give us the Superman seat grab. I like it. You know what? Go with the classic. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go with the classic and just string together some fun lines right there. Gosh, he's so consistent. It's like there's nothing he can't do, and he always makes it so, makes it look so effortless. Here's that backflip 180, pulling it back around, downside tail, back into the transition. That was really cool. Really enjoyed the Superman seat grab that he did too. I, that's one of my favorites. Check him out, landing backwards. Just knocking that back wheel back around, pulling it back in to go straight into the transition. <laughs> yeah, no big deal for Kevin Peraza. So we're being told that with the clock running out, we are not going. We're not going to get another round of runs, so this will be our last two riders here, and then we will have the big reveal. Will Ryan Williams roll the dice yet again here? Try something new in this fifth and final attempt. Well, it's as if he's trying to defy the laws of physics here. Go up the quarter pipe and do a backflip. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Kind of ties my brain in a knot. Oh, was he going to get another attempt here? Didn't like the setup. Give it another go around here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hey, he's still on the bike. The feet, the feet were still on. But uh, always fun to have Mr. R. Willie out here. He's got a legion of fans out there that love to call out commentators when they get stuff wrong. So here we go. Our final rider, your defending gold medals from the last two years doing this. Bent frame and all. It's one more time around here for Mike Vargo. And he pulls it. Are you kidding me? On the last hit with a bent frame. His back was against the wall, and he pulls the 900 bar spin, catch bar spin. Going for that three-peat. He wants it, Jimmy. Check him out. Here's one bar spin. 
There's two bar spins in a 900. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It... Getting oh one more look goodness. here. Like when he catches the bars the second go around, look how much more he still has to rotate around to make that happen. Gosh, after some big slams, a bent frame, back against the wall, last rider to drop, finally gets it done. The 900 bar spin, catch bar spin. Said it before, I'm going to say it again. Very thankful not to be a judge in these circumstances. Yeah, he had two big falls there, and he looked extremely frustrated at the end of his second to last attempt right there. But talk, I mean, with your back against the wall. I mean, we saw that earlier in the day, BMX Park with Logan Martin and Mike Varga steps up and rises to the occasion. And now the question is, what do the judges say? Again, it's the big reveal. It is a full podium, but the winner gets a gold pedal, and it's going to be Mike Varga who makes it a three-peat, Chris Doyle. Wow, the three-peat for Mr. Mike Varga taking that gold medal, that gold pedal, I'm sorry, back to Canada. Congratulations, Mr. Mike Varga. How about Jeremy Millat there getting a bronze? Kevin Peraza with a silver. Let's take a look at this last run here, Chris. What? <laughs> Under the pressure, some people focus, some people fold, and clearly, Mike Varga is all focus. Well, let's send it down to Victoria Arlen with our winner. Mike Varga making history three in a row. Now walk me through that moment when you realized your frame was bent. Uh, basically, frame was bent a bit. My crank arm was hitting the frame, so usually I get a little play in the crank arms. I had no play at all. It was basically like I was standing on a scooter type of thing. Somehow I got the bars going and I ended up landing it last try, so I have no clue how that happened, but thank God. Thank Dave Mira for making this best trick happen. And Thank everyone at X Games. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! Now, how were you able to land that final one? How? Yeah. Uh, I've been trying tricks for the last two months, and I've had it in my head. I've actually done that in the past, but never on a real quarter pipe. So I think that's the first time it's been done on a real quarter pipe. So very excited to do that. Like I said, it's been in my mind for a while. I just brought it out and somehow landed it to cement. So I'm very happy. Congratulations. <laughs> that supports me thank you so, so much so that was sheer determination right there and what a finish yet again chris doyle yeah I, unreal a 900 a bar spin catch bar spin it's the stuff that these guys wow. are doing now is just so unbelievable to me i've been around for a long time i've seen a lot of things but man just to see that was uh Awesome. Well, that's a wrap from the California Training Facility. However, we still have more to come when we come back to X Games 2022. We'll have Pacifico Skateboard Vert.